welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principle my name is uh, Shaheen and I'm going to analyze gold and silver and some other dollar index uh, currencies in this forecast uh, some of you uh, guys have been attending me for long the channel name I in my one of my previous videos I clearly indicated the channel name was changed I clearly indicated in one of my videos so if you guys have been using my previous channel name which is Elliot wave green then of course when I was looking and searching I found that Elliot wave principle was available which is of course a prime name so I decided to take that so nothing has changed I'm the same person same channel basically just a, a different name I was adopted so some of you guys are not gonna like what I'm gonna say but I gotta do what I gotta do and which is to analyze the market we have been bearish in the market for gold we have uh, successfully forecasted this price movement and we were ready uh, when prices were falling down and uh, the h only hiccup is that it seems it seems that we have not completed the correction which actually started from right over here the correction has decided to be turned on like a flat correction that's what I'm thinking that this is when wave A, wave B, wave C which is wave A of the flat correction this is wave A, wave B and wave C which itself is a flat correction and this is uh, wave B of the largest, fl larger flat correction. And I'm right now thinking that we are heading upwards all the way to 1834. There is a possibility that we might see this as a truncated wedge waving some, somewhere under over here. There's also possibility that we might see wave passing back through over here. This is not going to take, however, this much time. Hopefully, in the next few days, you'll be done with this. Now, if you look at the analysis itself, on an hourly uh, time frame it looks that we have probably completed wave a this is probably wave a so i mean this is probably wave one this is probably wave a of uh, a correction wave b of a correction and then we'll see prices coming back for, a, for one day or two days and then i'm expecting that prices will go up so right now i'm not taking a trade i'm wait waiting for the prices to come back give us some good uh, entry point and then probably this will be a better point to where we can actually come out there's also a good opportunity when the prices fall back it will also give us a opportunity if you are already bearish then you might want to take some profit because the, the, then we are looking from 1730 1735 to all over 1740 as well to all over there now we, once we are dealing with corrections there's a good possibility that the price will not probably fall all the way down right over here so be really careful sometimes truncation occurs in flat corrections uh, when there's a lot of uh, pressure on the opposite side so be really careful there are somewhere around let me have a look if I can find a target there is a first target of course for price falling down is 1740 we would ideally be looking from around 1734 1735 if prices can fall in that range this will be very good um, price entrance point and I'm expecting this price movement to be done soon hopefully by the end of next week or maybe the Monday so after that so Monday Tuesday and then we should expect the sharper price movement downward the reason I'm saying sharper price movement downward is that we already have seen that how strong the bearish pressure is the ex wave B of expanded flat is very very strong as compared to wave A giving us indication that the bears are actually in very strong hold as soon as the structure is complete the only issue is that the structure that started from right from over here or the bulls actually that started right, right from over here are yet not done and we can see that from the support coming back all over here we can see that the support is coming back so prices have decided to hold back on bulls were really aggressive on this area it looks like that we are gonna see some further strength in bulls once we are done that this will be wave one and wave two and then we will be expecting wave three so remember this is gonna be wave three of three because we are considering this whole price movement start right from top to bottom right over here either wave a or either wave one so if this is wave A, then this is wave B, and then we are going to see wave C completing right over here. Or if this is, uh, pardon me for that, if this is wave 1, this is wave 2, and then this is going to be wave 3 of 3, and then we will see some more price behavior. So we'll discuss that in, la in later. Uh, of course, there's uh, also a certain change in, uh, I mean, there is a change in the forecast as well for uh, silver as well. I'm expecting right now that when... Uh, gold falls down then this is probably gonna be wave this is already W 
So one wave is uh, you can consider it as a zigzag pattern, and this is going to be a uh, x. So this is w, x, and y. Within x, we can see actually we can see wave the five wave structure, then wave A, wave B, and wave C, a flat correction, and price heading downward. So this is actually wave A, B, and C, or you can consider it as a W, X, and Y within a X. So once prices fall back, our upside target, for example, somewhere around $24 and 10 cents. That is gonna be our up, to, uh, up 24, 20, 24, 10, that will be target. But first couple of days are really, really important for gold and silver i want the prices to fall back give us a chance to come out of the bear positions similarly in gold and silver and once we are done that we'll be ready for the prices to pull up uh, and then or at least we can take some partial profits that's your own trading decision now let's have a look at euro i'm expecting some euro uh, behavior from euro as well i'm now considering this as wave a and this whole rice movement as wave b and i'm considering that we might actually see sharper price movement upward or if you're considering we can still consider it as wave a right over here wave b right over here and then we can see prices right in this range as well both things will work so next couple of days gonna be uh, a bullish price movement for euro we are seeing certain swings. The reason is, uh, uh, one more reason is important that we are actually right now at exactly double bottom right over here with this one. So we can see there's some strength coming back as well. So in next few days, I'm expecting that we are some pullback right over here, maybe wave one and wave two, or wave one, two, and three, and four, and then we will see some strength, final strength. So right now, but for Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna wait for the prices to actually correct, correct and then get ready for the uh, price movement upward. Remember, we have another support li right, right, uh, lying right over here. So there's a good possibility that this whole price movement as wave one, and then we'll see prices falling back all the way over here as wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five. So the one, once again, couple of first couple of days are really important. I'm gonna wait for the pullback, and then we'll head on from there after that. Canadian dollar, which was not looking really great last week when we analyzed, it looks like that we have actually gonna, uh, we are gonna probably gonna see a leg downward. We are considering it as a W, and this is gonna be X, and considering price movement coming down as Y. So W, X, and Y. That's what I'm looking at. And a potential target for some of the ranges right over here, the first target, and the second target is right over here. So we're gonna keep both of these things in mind and we're gonna be bearish on this particular chart. Let's have a look at British pound and there is a possibility that we can see that the W, X and Y and then we can probably see double top occurring with British pound as well. So I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one and then this will be wave two. So next few days are going to be bullish and it looks like the trend that actually started right from over here is going to continue we have already seen prices reflect off from this level so that's what i'm expecting that we probably will see triple top occurring right over here and what have we else all right cryptocurrency now we have seen a lot of strength coming back in uh, in cryptocurrency does that mean that we have actually started the new trend which will complete I do not believe so. I'm still considering it as wave A, wave B, and wave C right over here. Uh, I believe that as soon as this price movement is done, the final trend itself is actually bearish right now. I am not looking at it as a continuous or continuation of a bullish trend. I'm not ready to take that this whole correction is complete right over here or over here. So I believe that it's still going to be bearish, only the prices have gone a little deeper. That actually means that a lot of uh, deep, uh, a lot of action that we have seen in gold price movement, we are probably gonna see similar behavior in cryptocurrency. Let me show you exactly what I mean by what we have seen in gold. Mm. All right. I'm talking about this behavior that we have seen in prices falling down, deep correction, falling down, correction, falling down, deep correction. So it looks like cryptocurrency is gonna give us similar indication. So if you are actually bullish and you actually get to see the prices deeper, take advantage. 
that will be my advice and then keep in mind that the, we are actually looking for the main trend going downward this trend seems different from uh, this trend where we saw sudden crash in the prices it looks like that we are going to see something like this right over here where prices came down deep correction came down and we've seen deep correction came down right over here and a further deep correction and then finally down so we're going to see some price behavior like this in uh, this area Uh, dollar index there is no need to indication uh, I mean it looks like the dollar is going to get weaker and we are not going to look in dollar DXY is this time uh, once GDX as well once the next week is done we are going to start looking into the weakness in GDX and I'm pretty sure that some of you guys will be waiting for the further crash uh, downward but for now this is not happening we are gonna wait a little more and it looks like that Monday, Tuesday, if we are going to get our chance to get out of the trade and uh, the bearish trade and be ready for the bullish trend. So wish you good luck. Have a good one. If you like the content, please comment. If you uh, want to critically analyze the, uh, my analysis, you're really welcome. And it really sometimes helps to see, uh, <coughs> to see a different side of the perspective. Wish you good luck. Have a good one. And bye-bye.